Series 2 Episode 85. Scout and Johnny Wright's fake graveyard name slash arrested slash grounded. Oh my gosh, why, I have enough of this grounding sentence. My dad always mean all of the time, with my troublemaker Johnny, always grounding us every time we hang out. If I can't make my own ideas, I'm running out of my ideas, what should I do? You know what? I'm going to hang out with Johnny, then buy a three realistic metal graveyard tombstones, and then put B. I. H. Classic Caillou, Caillou, and Rosie. So they deserve to have death. Wow, I am always have a genius idea. Okay, my mission begins in 3, 2, 1. Hello Scout. I'm already here, so what we gonna do? We will buy a three tombstones graveyard sign, then write a fake death of Caillou, Classic Caillou, and Rosie. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go, shall we? Yes! So, we will drive to the Home Depot. Okay, that's good. Let's turn on the radio and start the car. We to the store when they got to the Home Depot. Wow, the Home Depot. Let's go. Let's go. Seems a lot of people are there. Oh, but let's get the three tombstones. There it is. I will get one and you get two. Okay. Now, let's pay it to the counter. Let's go. Ugh, this is so heavy. Hello, welcome to the Home Depot. What structure did you guys buy? We have a three tombstones. Well, criminal's discount, it costs free. Really? Yes. Yes, finally, a free item. Now we don't need to pay. Here's your card. Have a nice day. You too. You too too. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't believe people didn't know this is a free items. Now I need to get home before more people arrives. Yes, we got the tombstones. Let's go. Okay, now, let's drive to the graveyard to the graveyard. Let's go to the graveyard. Let's go, 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 go. When they got to the graveyard. There's the three empty tombstones. Let's place all three tombstones. And now, let's write. After they finish writing disrespectful fake graveyard names. And now, we're done. Let's check the graveyard names. <laughs> that was funny. Now time to leave this place before we get caught. Hope our cover isn't blown. After they ran back to the car. Now, let's turn on the engine. Let's go home. Let's go to our home. Meanwhile, with General Police Officer Will. Man, my grandparents, it's been 24 years without you. Dad and Mom, I will never forget about you. My father, my mother, I know you guys died from a natural causes 24 years ago. My father suffered from heart attack. My mother suffered from kidney cancer. Thank you guys for helping me to finish my studies and getting me a college degree. 
so that's why I accomplished my dream to become a police officer in 1953 when I got to training military school when I was a private rookie and I accomplished all of the courses to become a police officer, and I became general in 1993 after my longest serving police officer in four decades. I will respect you, guys, thank you, amen. Wait. Hold on a second, there's three graveyard signs in here, who caused this? Let me check. Oh, my, gosh, someone put a fake death graveyard names out of them, that's hugely disrespectful. I need to picture this and give the evidence to the police station. Okay, let's send this to police forces. When General Officer Will goes back to the police station. Judge Paul, you won't just believe I saw in the graveyard. What, Officer Will? Give me the evidence. Uh, it says the graveyard name of classic Caillou. Caillou, on Rosie, nothing seems to happen. Look at the second picture. When I was in the Home Depot far away with my boss manager having busy talking, I saw them smugging, and then I saw the three tombstones buying, and the lazy cashier gave them free items, and the boss fired him. That troublemaker's to going to get it. Okay, I will be right back when I arrest two of the suspects. You go to the court, and they will go to arrest both. Why is the criminals have to commit crimes all of the time? Why? I had enough of criminals had to commit major crimes. Uh, never mind. I will go to the court, and they will have to deal with these criminals. I'm coming too. I hope both needs to teach a lesson for committing a major crimes. This is getting me furious right now. When General Officer Will got to the Johnny's home first. <laughs> Open the door right now. What happened, officer? I would like to arrest your son for writing a fake graveyard. Would you come him down, please? My son is going to be grounded when he goes to jail. Johnny, come down here and go outside right now. What, Dad? I'm feeling bored here. Aren't you guy that you bite the tombstones and put the fake graveyard names? Uh, yes. Well, you are under arrest for disrespectful and writing the fake graveyard sign death. Come with me in the police car. <laughs> Stay what you are, when I arrest your troublemaker too. After when General Officer Will drives to Scout's house. Oh, my, not police again. What did my son do this time? Get him down the stairs and they will talk to him. Okay, Scout, get down here. What? What's wrong? Aren't you also wrote a fake graveyard name? Uh, yes. Well, you also under arrest for disrespectful and writing a fake graveyard name out of innocence. Come with me in the police car. <laughs> Officer, let us out of police. When they got to court. All right, everyone, it's court time. So I have the two criminals here, Scout and John, both charged with disrespectful and wrote the fake graveyard name. Oh my gosh, why did you do this you both? Because, we are already bad, we had enough of parents grounding us. Yeah. Well, sorry, that doesn't single quote to mean that you proved you guys innocent, when the parents are listening to you, follow them, so you won't make them furious. If 
you cause any bad, especially causing troubles, the parents will get mad. So you guys get 36 years in prison and 54,315 pounds fine because of vandalism in the graveyard? Do you want to take the risk? You know that, Judge. We will not take the risk this time. Me too. We surrender. Well, I guess you guys won't take a lie about your charges and getting more sentence. So everyone, Scout and Johnny decided to not take the risk about their crime charges, so we will not do the trial. So, I automatically close this case and send them into the jail. So, case closed. Follow me into your cell right now, you guys. This is your cell you both. You guys stay here for 36 years, and also, your lot of money for both of you guys has been furiously fined. You guys have visitors, I'm leaving here, later guys. Scout Chris, what is wrong with your brain? I can't believe you got arrested for buying a three tombstones with Johnny and wrote the fake graveyard names out of them. Didn't you even know how disrespectful to good people especially with the old ages who are naturally died? This is why you kept causing troubles all of the time. For this, you are grounded until you get out of jail, which you are grounded for 36 years. If you escape jail, I'm going to call the police on you and you will be even more grounded, that's it when I'm telling you, have fun here for a long time. Dad, Mom, can you please let us out of jail? No, we are not bailing you out and your troublemaker scout because your reason that you caused. You buy the three tombstones with Scout and then write a fake graveyard names of them. Didn't you even know how disrespecting that is to make bad jokes out of good people? This ain't funny Johnny. And for this, you are grounded for 36 years, and we will install all of your eye perspective and your general troublemaker Scout, so you won't escape jail, and if I catch you to escape jail, we will go to your station and ground you guys even more. So, we're leaving. Bye. <laughs> wow, we can't believe we're in jail for this. This is so disrespecting. If we didn't came up that idea, none of this would have happened. Well, I guess we're gonna stay here for a long time. Same. 